Hey guys, Rubik's Cuber 88 here, and in this video, I have a very exciting tutorial on the 2x2x3. Okay guys, so one, just, one quick thing before we get right into the video. I did get a couple new camera accessories today. Here is one of them. So this, I got a, uh, not like a lavalier type, it's like a clip-on mic. So it's just like this, it just clips on your shirt. And in order to make this mic to work is you plug this into your camera, or your iPod in, in my case. And then this plug here on the microphone just goes into the microphone jack. So you plug this in here in the microphone. And then, and then this just get plugged into your iPod. So here is the audio with the new microphone. Okay, so here is the new microphone. I have this plugged into my iPod. And the other camera accessory that I got is this thing right here. VA star. This is like a like a clip-on thing. It's like a, just a tripod adapter. So this is my camera. Just get, it just goes right on here. So that is the other thing that I got. So that's pretty much it. Nothing really exciting. Put you guys back on here. Okay. So now that that is out of the way, um, better audio should be coming for you guys. So let's get into the two by two by three tutorial. All right. So first, you have to scramble your two by two by three. Okay, so once you have done that, the first step is to build the white layer. So um, these are the two opposite colors. Um, one more thing, um, when I say an R2, that means the right side twice because uh, there is no such thing as an R on this cube. Because if you do an R, it will shape shift and you cannot turn the rest of the puzzle. So it's an, always an R2. This is an L2, this is a U, and this is U prime, and then D, D prime. So let's just get into the tutorial. So the first step is to build the white layer, so I'm going to go for this. So see that we have opposites here, so we can just easily fix this by R2, F2, R2. So this is just basic layer building skills. If you guys know how to solve the 2x2, two two, then this should be pretty easy for you guys. Just build your basic, uh, pretty much like a 2x2 two two layer. Just like that. So once you have your white layer, um, it has to be solved. And um, then you are going to um, move on to your yellow. So once again, you have the white solve layer. Uh, I'm not going to really go over much how to solve the white layer because that should be uh, pretty basic and intuitive. So once you have your, your white layer, you're gonna put down the bottom and now the yellow sh should be solved. There's two possible cases that you could get in order to, um, for the, to solve the yellow layer. So in that case, the next step is to solve the yellow layer. So there's two cases. The first case is when you have a bar. You're going to hold the bar, the like the one bar here on the left, and you're going to do this algorithm to solve the yellow layer with the bar on the left. R2, U, R2, U prime, R2, U prime D, R2, U prime, R2, U, R2, and then a D prime. And that should solve, as you can see, it has solved the, it's kept the white layer solved, and it has solved the yellow layer. Okay, so the second case that you could see while solving your yellow layer, as you see, you have your white layer solved. The second possible case, and the final case that you can get in order to solve the yellow layer, is you have a diagonal swap. So you have the diagonals on every side. All you're basically just gonna wanna do, it swaps these two pieces. So if you have the diagonals, it doesn't even matter. So just hold it anywhere and then do this algorithm in order to solve the yellow layer with the diagonal swap. R2, U, D, R2, U. And we're gonna do that two more times. So R2, U, D, R2, U, and then one more time, R2, U, D, R2, U. And as you can see, it has solved the yellow layer. 
Okay, so uh, once we have solved our white and yellow layer, pretty basic. Um, the final step is to solve this middle layer. So there are three or four possible uh, cases that you can get. And the first case is when you have both your white and your yellow layer solved. And you, just, and you just have to switch these two pieces. So these two need to flip-flop. So you just need to sw swap these two pieces in the middle. Hold these two pieces that need to be switched on the right-hand side. And just do R2, U2 until the cube is solved. So, so once again, if you have this case, you're going to hold these two on the right. Do R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U2, and the cube should solve. Okay, so... The next case is when you have your white layer solved and your yellow, yellow layer solved and you have to swap diagonal pieces. So you have to, so this case looks like this, we have to swap these two and these two. Um, so you're just going to hold it. So the two pieces that you have to swap are on the right hand side and the left hand side. So you have to hold it like this and then do this at algorithm. You just do with holding them on the left and right. It's R2, the middle slice twice, and then R2, and then your cube should solve. Okay, so the next case is when you have to swap th uh, this piece, this piece, and this piece. So it's basically just three pieces. So you have just one piece here, one piece here, and one piece here. So you have to swap these three pieces in the middle layer. Um, you're going to want to hold this so um, when you either do an R2 move or an L2 move it should have a T just like this so if you do an L2 move so you're just gonna want to hold an unsolved piece on the right and then if you do an L2 there should be a T on the front face so if you have a T good just wait for a second if you do an R2 there should be a T just like this if I do it on this face it's not gonna have a T so that doesn't work do it on this face so it looks like it's only going to work um, on the blue and the green so just don't gonna want to hold an unsolved piece either on the left or on the right and then if you're holding your unsolved piece on the left in my case you, you just do an R2 so when you do an R2 there has to be a T in this front face exactly like this so after you do this and you're on this step you just do the middle layer clockwise and then R2 and then your cube should solve. If not, you will get this case again. You just hold this on the left and right and do R2, the middle slice twice, R2, and your cube should solve. All right, and the final case is when you have your white and your yellow layer solved. And this is the final case where you have to swap diagonal pieces. There's only two, so it's just this piece and this piece, and that's it. And you're gonna wanna hold this. So one unsolved piece is here on the right-hand side and the other unsolved piece is here in the back. So you're gonna hold it exactly like this with the piece in the front right, and then the back left, and you're just gonna do this algorithm. The right side twice, the middle layer clockwise, the right side twice, the middle layer clockwise, and then you should just get to this case where you hold this on the right and left and just do R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U2 and your cube should solve. Thanks for watching my 2x2 free tutorial and I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please follow us on Instagram at rubikscuber88 underscore official and subscribe to us on YouTube at rubikscuber88. Links to our Instagram and YouTube will be in the description box down below. Also, please check out our previous video and a rainy video for my channel by clicking the provided videos on the screen. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.